good evening and welcome to the broadcast. My name is Brother Smith and I'm your host for the I See It Right Now TV, the Port County television broadcast presentation. Brought to you on Comcast, uh, at uh, Alco Television Studios in beautiful downtown Mission City, Indiana. And today we, we are honored to, to present to you uh, uh, some uh, 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 clips from the, the, the great Dr. Martin Luther King in commemoration of, of Dr. Martin Luther King's birthday, on his birthday. And uh, we'd like to begin with the I Have a Dream speech. So if you all would please be kind to join us. I am happy to join with you today in what will go down in history as the greatest demonstration for freedom in the history of our nation. Five score years ago, a great American in whose symbolic shadow we stand today signed the Emancipation Proclamation. This momentous decree came as a great beacon light of hope to millions of Negro slaves who had been seared in the flames of withering injustice. It came as a joyous daybreak to end the long night of their captivity. But 100 years later, the Negro still is not free. 100 years later, the, the life of the Negro is still sadly crippled by the manacles of segregation and the chains of discrimination. One hundred years later, the Negro lives on a lonely island of poverty in the midst of a vast ocean of material prosperity. One hundred years later, The, the Negro is still languished in the corners of American society and finds himself in exile in his own land. And so we've come here today to dramatize a shameful condition. In a sense, we've come to our nation's capital to cash a check. When the architects of our republic wrote the magnificent words of the Constitution and the Declaration of Independence. They were signing a promissory note to which every American was to fall heir. This note was a promise that all men, yes, black men as well as white men, would be guaranteed the unalienable rights of life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. It is obvious today that America has defaulted on this promissory note insofar as her citizens of color are concerned. Instead of honoring this sacred obligation, America has given the Negro people a bad check, a check which has come back marked insufficient funds. But we refuse to believe that the Bank of Justice is bankrupt. We refuse to believe that there are insufficient funds in the great vaults of opportunity of this nation. So we've come to cash this check, a check that will give us upon demand the riches of freedom and the security of justice. We 
we have all so come to this hallowed spot to remind America of the fierce urgency of now. This is no time to engage in the luxury of cooling off or to take the tranquilizing drug of gradualism. Now is the time to make real the promises of democracy. Now is the time to rise from the dark and desolate valley of segregation to the sunlit path of racial justice. Now is the time <laughs> to lift our nation from the quicksands of racial injustice to the solid rock of brotherhood. Now is the time <laughs> to make justice a reality for all of God's children. It would be fatal for the nation to overlook the urgency of the moment. This sweltering summer of the Negro's legitimate discontent will not pass until that is an invigorating autumn of freedom and equality. 1963 is not an end, but a beginning. And those who hoped that the Negro needed to blow off steam and will now be content will have a rude awakening if the nation returns to business as usual. <laughs> there will be neither rest nor tranquility in America until the Negro is granted his citizenship rights. The whirlwinds of revolt will continue to shake the foundations of our nation until the bright day of justice emerges. But that is something that I must say to my people who stand on the warm threshold which leads into the palace of justice. In the process of gaining our rightful place, we must not be guilty of wrongful deeds. Let us not seek to satisfy our thirst for freedom by drinking from the cup of bitterness and hatred. We must forever conduct our struggle on the high plane of dignity and discipline. We must not allow our creative protests to degenerate into physical violence. Again and again, we must rise to the majestic heights of meeting physical force with soul force. And the marvelous new militancy which has engulfed the Negro community must not lead us to a distrust of all white people. For many of our white brothers, as evidenced by their presence here today, have come to realize that their destiny is tied up with our destiny. They have come to realize that their freedom is inextricably bound to our freedom. We cannot walk alone. And as we walk, we must make the pledge that we shall always march ahead. We cannot turn back. There are those who are asking the devotees of civil rights, when will you be satisfied? We can never be satisfied as long as the Negro is the vi victim of the unspeakable horrors of police brutality. We can never be satisfied as long as our body is heavy with the fatigue of travel, cannot gain lodging in the motels of the highways and the hotels of the cities. We cannot be satisfied as long as the Negro's basic mobility is from a smaller ghetto to a larger one. We can never be satisfied as long as our children are stripped of their selfhood and robbed of their dignity by signs stating for whites only. <laughs> the 
We cannot be satisfied as long as a Negro in Mississippi cannot vote and a Negro in New York believes he has nothing for which to vote. No, no, we are not satisfied and we will not be satisfied until justice rolls down like waters and righteousness like a mighty stream. I am not my unmindful that some of you have come here out of great trials and tribulations. Some of you have come fresh from narrow jail cells. Some of you have come from areas where your quest for freedom left you battered by the storms of persecution and staggered by the winds of police brutality. You have been the veterans of creative suffering. Continue to work with the faith that unearned suffering is redemptive. Go back to Mississippi. Go back to Alabama. Go back to South Carolina. Go back to Georgia. Go back to Louisiana. Go back to the slums and ghettos of our northern cities knowing that somehow this situation can and will be changed. Yes. Let us not wallow in the valley of despair. I say to you today, my friend, <laughs> so even though we face the difficulties of today and tomorrow, I still have a dream. Yeah. It is a dream deeply rooted in the American dream. I have a dream that one day yeah. this nation will rise up and live out the true meaning of its creed. We hold these truths to be self-evident that all men are created equal. Yeah. I have a dream that one day on the red hills of Georgia, the sons of former slaves and the sons of former slave owners will be able to sit down together at the table of brotherhood. I have a dream that one day even the state of Mississippi, a state sweltering with the heat of injustice, sweltering with the heat of oppression will be transformed into an oasis of freedom and justice. I have a dream that my four little children will one day live in a nation where they will not be judged by the color of their skin but by the content of their character. I have a dream today. I have a dream that one day down in Alabama with its vicious racist, with its governor having his lips dripping with the words of interposition and nullification, one day right there in Alabama little black boys and black girls will be able to join hands with little white boys and white girls as sisters and brothers. I have a dream today. I have a dream that one day every valley shall be exalted. And every hill and mountain shall be made low. The rough places will be made plain. And the crooked places will be made straight. And the glory of the Lord shall be revealed. And all flesh shall see it together. This is our hope. This is a faith that I go back to the south with. With this faith. We will be able to hew out of the mountain of despair a stone of hope. With this faith, we will be able to transform the jangling discords of our nation 
into a beautiful symphony of brotherhood. With this faith, we will be able to work together, to pray together, to struggle together, to go to jail together, to stand up for freedom together, knowing that we will be free one day. This will be the day, this will be the day when all of God's children will be able to sing with new meaning, my country tears of thee. Sweet land of liberty of thee I sing. Land where my fathers died, land of the pilgrim's pride. From every mountainside, let freedom ring. And if America is to be a great nation, this must become true. And so let freedom ring. From the prodigious hilltops of New Hampshire, let freedom ring. From the mighty mountains of New York, let freedom ring from the heightening Alleghenies of Pennsylvania. Let freedom ring from the snow-capped Rockies of Colorado. Let freedom ring from the curvaceous slopes of California. But not only that, let freedom ring from Stone Mountain of Georgia. Let freedom ring from Lookout Mountain of Tennessee. Let freedom ring from every hill and mole hill of Mississippi, from every mountainside. Let freedom ring, and when this happens, and when we allow freedom ring, when we let it ring from every village and every hamlet, from every state and every city, we will be able to speed up that day when all of God's children, black men and white men, Jews and Gentiles, Protestants and Catholics, will be able to join hands and sing in the words of the old Negro spiritual, free at last, free at last, thank God Almighty, we are free at last. And again, welcome back to the broadcast. I'm Brother Jose Van Smith. I'm your host for I See It Right Now TV, LaPorte County Television Broadcast. We are honored to celebrate the, uh, to commemorate the, um, the celebration of Dr. Martin Luther King's birthday, uh, commencing with, with, the, with the great I Have a Dream speech. Um, and at this moment, if you all would be kind enough to join us in a brief invocation. Dear Heavenly Father, as we humbly petition your throne of grace, Lord, we come with uplifting arms to say thank you. We thank you, Lord, for thy great dispensation of grace. We thank you, Lord, for waking us up this morning. We thank you, Lord, for giving us a man of Christ. Lord, we thank you for America. God, we thank you for our president, our governors, our, men, our, 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 our distinguished uh, 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 senators and, and congressional representatives, our, our, our mayors, Lord. We also ask that you continue to bless, uh, bless our great city, Michigan City, the, 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 the great county of LaPorte. And the in the in the great state of Indiana. Today, uh, uh, I'd like to just share some insight on our on our on our dialogue. I see it right now. On TV is a division of Indiana Corporate Industries Technology Inc. We are a five hundred one c three public benefit. Industrial Corporation. We're in the business of building affordable, low, moderate, and high-end property developments nationwide. We're currently, we're currently tooling up to establish our national infrastructure nationwide. So we ask that you strongly, I mean, we strongly urge that you tune in to, uh, to I See It Right Now TV for more details on how you can participate, join, be a part, or support our initiatives going forward. 
We do plan to develop a, our flagship operations and satellite uh, installations in the, throughout Northwest Indiana and, our, through, our, and through our North, our, our Midwest division. I see it, it was divided into four, four divisions nationally. We have the, I see it, Midwestern Division, which covers the entire Midwest. We have, I see it, Southern Division, which covers the southern portion of our nation. We, or serve, rather. We have the, I see it, Eastern Division, which serves our Eastern Division of, of, of sector of our nation. And, and, and finally, last, I see it, Western Division. Um, I see it USA Inc. Is, is the corporate ID for our corporation. And again, um, we, are, we, we are here to be of service. And I see it, our mission statement uh, theme is dilapidated housing is an unaccepted, unacceptable standard. Our, 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 our dialogue primarily consists of Right Now TV, LaPorte County, public access, community news, your voice television. We have special guests, presentations, breaking news, our underwriters, Alco Television, uh, Alco Television Studios, public serv PSAs, public service announcements, uh, nonprofit organization, uh, nonprofits, civic groups, and voluntary organizations. We also have a community calendar. Community education. I see it Youth Authorship Guild. Uh, uh, I see it Community News. Uh, again, Know Your Neighborhood. Community Development. Help and Fitness. Public appeals, talent, volunteers, family values, and finally uh, we leave with you with the benediction. For those of you who don't have Comcast, <coughs> you can log into us on our YouTube video channel at www.icit-in.org. That's www dot ICIT dash IN dot org. We'd like to thank you all for your service and, 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 and contributions to our organization going forward. I see it right now TV. Uh, uh, the Port County is, 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 is in our 12th year of broadcast presentation. Our theme in 2024 is to be informed, to stay safe, and have fun learning. For fun and community is a huge ingredient to our recipe of success. Again, that's fun and community, a huge ingredient to our recipe of success. <clears throat> For those of you who may have talent, or, or if you've got uh, a trade or a hobby or a gift that you'd like to share with us, we would be delighted to have you. You can contact us or you can reach, up, reach me by writing ICIT, ICIT, P.O. Box 542, Michigan City, Indiana, 46361. Or you can con you can call you can call me at two one nine two one two one two one nine three three six three four five three. That's Brother Smith two one nine three 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 six three four five three. And again, I'm your host, and we would like to just thank you all for joining us on this special Martin Luther King. Uh, birthday celebration commemorating the great the great speeches of the of the 
of the master. We'd like to take a moment to give a shout out to our underwriters. Uh, more, more auto repair, more auto repair, the home of the junkyard dog. Stop by there. Uh, if you have any issues with mufflers, uh, or if you just need some, need, need, need some auto repairs, uh, that's more auto repair, and that number is 219-872-3738. That's more auto repair. 219-872-3738. And also, we'd like to acknowledge our good friends over at the Wall Game. The Wall Game of Michigan City, Indiana. POWs, MIAs. We will never forget. To our fallen comrades, we'd like to again thank the uh, thank Commander Steve Moore over at over at over at Moore Auto Repair for more information about the Wall Gang. You can contact him at 219-872-3738. That's the Wall Gang of Michigan City, Indiana. POWs and MIAs. We will never forget to our fallen comrades. May your memories be a blessing. And we thank them for their service and dedication to our nation. I don't know about you, but I think if you look out your windows, you'll realize this is, this is not the time to be second guessing. Get your, get your flu shots. <laughs> get your flu shots, all right? Be safe, okay? Stop by Walgreens for your, uh, for, for your flu shots. Uh, better be safe than sorry, okay? And again, uh, y'all be careful out there shoveling the snow. And also be mindful of our senior citizens. If you know an elder or a, uh, or a senior citizen, do something nice for a change. Go by there and check on them for one thing. Do a, what is called a wellness visit. Or if you're able, you may want to just, just shovel out a walkway, a path for them to get from their, from their door to their vehicle. You know, what leaves your heart reaches the heart. And, and, and it's just nice to be nice. So be mindful of our seniors and our young people. Oh my goodness, forgive me. Mm, bless your hearts. At this moment, we also would like to give a special shout out to our good friends at the USDA. The USDA, the U.S. Department, the United States Department of Agriculture. If you're interested in, in moving forward or, or living out in the country or moving out or establishing uh, a, a new location in the rural areas of America, Check with the USDA. You'll find that they, they'll be, they have a wealth of resources available to assist you, and uh, they're there to serve. That's the United States Department of Agriculture. And we want to thank them for their service. We also would like to acknowledge our good friends, uh, the, the Flanagan Boys, over at Flanagan Tire. Uh, Flanagan Boys, your home, your hometown tire dealer. Contact uh, Ms. Uh, the cow over there, and uh, they will make it happen. Check your for your tires of anything dealing with tires. Contact the Flanagan uh, Flanagan Tire Company. They're located here in, in Michigan City, on uh, on Eighth on on Sixth Street. Uh, six and, and six and, uh, let me find this. Bag and tires. Okay. I think we're all familiar with flag and tires. Uh, again, stop by there and ask to speak to Kyle. Uh, your hometown tire dealer. And we thank them for their contribution and their support. Bring to it a to bring to continue to bring you uh, the content such as uh, we are able to, to, to provide here. 
at Alco Television Studios. Uh, RS Physical Therapy. RS Physical Therapy, where they get you, where they get it right the first time. You can call Dr. Sarah Patel to schedule an appointment. They're located at 3710 Franklin Street. And the number there is 219-561-0828. That's RS Physical Therapy. Uh, uh, again, they're located at, at 3710 Franklin Street here in, uh, in, in beautiful downtown Michigan City, Indiana. Ask for Dr. Sarah Patel. Uh, again, that number is 219-561-0828. And again, we want to thank them for their service. They're right next, they're right next to, well, they're between Ivy Tech Community College and, and, and O'Reilly Auto Parts, RS Physical Therapy. We want to thank them for their service. And, 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 and we also would like to give a special shout out <clears throat> to the Village Kids. The Village Kids. They are a, 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 a level four path of quality facility. That's the highest rating. That's the Village Kids. They're a Christian uh, child care facility here at, in Michigan City on, on, uh, on, on 7th Street. Uh, and again, you can reach them at 219-874-9851. Uh, or you can call 219-874-9840. That's the Village Kids. A, uh, a level four, uh, highest rated uh, path to quality facility. And we want to thank them for their service to our, to our community. For our parents and our children, that's the Village Kids. Get your kids involved. They really take them to prepare them for that next level exposure. That's again the village kids here in Michigan, in Michigan City, and we want to thank them for their service. Again, you can contact them at two one nine eight seven eight eight seven nine six three. I mean six six three nine. Or you can reach them at 219-874-9840. As for Mrs. Josie, Josephine Walker, the director, and that's the Village Kids, where they get it done and they're doing wonderful things for our children. They offer reading, they offer dancing, they have arts and crafts. Their, their music. They are very, very committed to the education and excellence of our children's learning. So yeah, if, uh, if it's for a, a, an excellent facility for our children, contact the Village Kids. And uh, yeah, they've been serving our community forever. It takes a praying village to raise a child. That's their motto, a Christian child care facility. And again, that's for Mrs. Josephine Walker. That's at the Village Kids. And we want to thank them for their support and for their service. We also just like to give a special shout out to our distinguished state representative, Pat Boy. Mrs. Pat, I mean, our state, rep state representative, Boy. Is is our voice at the Indiana State Legislature? So if you have some issues or concerns, uh, you can give her. You can write her, or give them a call. But that address is is uh, the, the, the Pat Boy State Representative, two hundred West Washington Street, in Indianapolis, Indiana, four six two zero four. That's the Pat Boy State Representative, and that number there—it's toll free, 
at is at one eight hundred three eight two nine eight nine nine eight four two. That's one eight hundred three eight two nine eight four two. And again, we would like to thank uh, our distinguished state rep, contact her for a legislat legislative update. They'll be more than happy to send it out. Bad boy, making a difference for all Hoosiers. We also would just like to share with you some some of our previous back of our previous uh, uh, event schedule. Uh, we, and we do have, a, we are developing an itinerary for 2024, but previously we have had conducted a, 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 the a, a, a in-house tea and fashion show, summer in festivals, dinner for seniors, annual banquets and, and award presentations. And so stay tuned for those, for that, for, the, for that more information about those initiatives going forward. And if you'd like to be a part of our organization or a volunteer or just, 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 just make a, make a contribution, you can feel free to write us at, at ICIT PO Box 542, Michigan City, Indiana, 46361. Or you can call me, I'm Brother Smith your host at 219-336-3453. Or you can email us at josevansmith47 at yahoo.com. That's josevansmith47 at yahoo.com. And at this juncture, we just want to thank our, 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 uh, we want to thank the, the outstanding team over at Alco Television Studios, uh, 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 Lee, Andy, uh, 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 Kevin, and, and Drew. Don't forget Drew. These guys really make it happen for us, and we are, inter we are great, extremely grateful for them and thankful for their service to our community, to our city, our county, and our state. That's the outstanding team of Alco Television at Alco Television Studios. Kudos to them all, and we thank them for their service. Keep up good work, Alco. They really make it happen. Uh, all of those sports events that you cut, that you see uh, uh, broadcast here are, are 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 covered by our team over here at Alco Television Studios. And again, uh, I, you know, I, I wanted to at least acknowledge our good friend over at, um, it's now, it, it, it was previously MCAT, MCAT, the acronym for Missoula Community Access Television. That's where I was able, uh, in, out of, uh, in Missoula, Montana, but this is where we, we, we initially Cut our cut our teeths, um, and which is now formally, which is currently the Missoula Community uh, Community Missoula Community Media Resource. They've changed the uh, they've changed the, uh, the 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 name of a tag, but yeah, it was formerly MCAT. Now it's Community Missoula. I mean, I mean Community Missoula Community Media resource and they're located in the new the public library in Missoula Montana I also would like to give a shout out to our good friends over at Wall and Auto too Wall and Auto too at Wallens they are they they work on all types of vehicles domestic and foreign you can stop by there in fact it'd be best if you did Ask for Chris Wallen for complete auto repair, domestic and foreign. They are located at 8485 U.S. Highway, uh, U.S. Highway 20, here in Michigan City, Indiana. And they can, they can be reached at 219-878-1824. 
That's 219-878-1824. Ask for an owner, Chris Wallen. Let them know you heard about it on Right Now TV in Fort County. And again, we want to thank them for their service. I am also, I, I'm honored to have been able to serve as past president of Boulevard Garden Resident Council, Inc. Here, here at Michigan City, uh, Michigan City Housing Authority. And my office, which, which, was, uh, which was initially created by HUD, is, is uh, in, in model, where it is, is serving responsibly, equitably, and, respect, and respectfully. And I attribute this broadcast to my service at Boulevard Gardens Resident Council. Uh, it was just an honor to be of service to our senior citizens. You know, they, they, uh, they have inspired me, they motivate us, and they're a blessing. And we love them all. We're here for them. Uh, uh, that's Boulevard Garden Resident Council, Inc. Which, uh, which, happened, which, was, which was the office that, that I served in. I was tapped to serve as their president. Uh, it was created, in, it was initiated by HUD, the U.S. Department of Housing and Urban Development. And it was, again, an honor to be able to serve them. That's the Michigan City Housing Authority, uh, Boulevard Garden Resident Council, Inc. Uh, and we wish the, the, all the residents there the best going forward. It was, a, again, again, an honor and a blessing to be of service there. And I do want you all to know we're still here for you. Advocacy, intervention, and supportive services is some of the hallmarks of I See It. If you're interested in, in some art, or, or, or if you've got a wall or a space or, or a, a man cave or woman cave you just don't know what to do with, Contact Dave Van Smith, commercial artist, for custom art and murals, commercial displays, fast professional service by appointment only. And that number is 219-336-3453. That's Jay Van Smith, commercial artist, for, uh, for custom art and murals, commercial displays, uh, for fast professional service by appointment only. Give us a call, and we'll make it happen. We can turn that blank space into into a paradise. Again, uh, you know, this is what we do. Uh, Jay Van Smith, commercial artist. So, if you need a, you know, if you need, if you, know, if you got some ideals, and you just can't figure out how to put it together, get them a call. They'll make it happen. They'll connect the dots. And again, I'd also like to give a, a shout out to our good friends at the Michigan, at the Michigan town, Township Assessor's Office. To Brett, I mean to, to Brent uh, Benek. Brent is our Michigan Township Assessor, Level 3 Assessor and Appraiser. We give uh, kudos to them and for their service. Uh, uh, they're located at 300 Washington Street, Suite 361, Michigan City, Indiana. Or you can give them a call at 219-326-6808, extension 7912, 7912. And that's Brent Bennett, our, 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 our Michigan Township Assessor. Level three assessor and appraiser. If you're interested in purchasing some land or acquiring some property here, you may want to give them a call. Uh, they're there to be of service, and um, and you'll be glad you did. And again, we want to thank them for their service and their contributions to our community. I got to, I, I, you know, I, I must admonish you all. Now, let's just be more mindful of one another, okay, and respectful toward each other. Uh, respect is a is a it's a two way street, okay. It, it you you give respect, you get respect, 
Okay? You got to give that to get it. It's earned. All right? And there's nothing wrong with doing our part. Okay? It doesn't belittle you to, to be kind. All right? To, to be thoughtful. Okay? To aid and assist. After all, we are here to be a blessing one to another. And as I see it, that's, that's, what, that's our calling card. Okay, is to be a blessing one to another. I see it, the acronym for Indiana Corporate Industries Technology, Inc. is, a, is a, an industrial corporation. It's actually a diversified industrial corporation. And we're involved in manufacturing, new construction. I see it as industries. I see it as community developers. I see it as, as, as securities and, and, and security and technology. Uh, so again, you know, to, to learn more about I see it and I see it rush. Uh, stay tuned to our, our broadcast here at, 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 on, on, uh, at Alco Television Studios. At, um, at, at, at Right Now TV, we broadcast Mondays at 4 p.m. and Thursdays at 6 p.m. And again, we want to thank you all for your support. Thank you, and thank you all for, for tuning into the broadcast. We also like to give a special shout out to our good friend, Mrs. Jane, a, a Jane F. Cooley. Mrs. Cooley is a broker, multi-million, multi-million producer. And she's with Mar- Marion and Associates. They're located at 1010 North Carwick Road in Michigan City, Indiana. If you're interested in acquiring some property, that's the one. She is the right one. The hat lady. Okay? And you let her know you heard about on Right Now TV, LaPorte County. That's Jane F. Cooley. All right, big broker and, and multi-million producer. Her number for business is 219-872-4000. That's 219-872-4000. Uh, with Marion and Associates, uh, located at 1010 North Carver Road. And we also would like to thank uh, our governor, Eric, J. Holcomb, Eric J. Holcomb, governor of the great state of Indiana, and again, and his wonderful staff there. Uh, governor Eric J. Holcomb, 200 West Washington Street, State House, room 202. If you happen to be in Indianapolis, Indiana, stop by and visit and holler at the governor. No, just stop by. They have some informative information. You might, you might, might not want to holler at them, but <laughs> acknowledge them. Uh, and I'm sure they, they would appreciate that. And we'd like to also give a shout out to our good friend, uh, Applegate and Company, CPA, Certified Public Accountant, Mr. Paul E. Applegate, CPA. Yeah, so if you have need of an app, of an accountant, a certified public accountant, contact Applegate and Company, and they're located at 1421 South Woodland Avenue, uh, Michigan City, Indiana, and that number is 219-871-78800. That's uh, Applegate and Company, C, I mean, PC, uh, certified Certified Public Accountants. Again, they're located at 1421 South Woodland Avenue in Michigan City, Indiana. And that number is 219-871-8, I mean, 7880. And, uh, and of course, we also would like to acknowledge uh, Mr. Roger Poltres. Mr. Poltres has relocated to Wyoming. Uh, but he was he, he had served our community as a as a uh, owner, principal, licensed architect. And uh, we just want to thank him for his services. 
Again, that's uh, Mr. Roger Poltres from DH2W Inc. Architecture and Planning. Again, we want to thank them for their support and their service to our community. Uh, you may want to, you uh, you're interested in, the, well, again, they have relocated, but that number is 219-872-9406. To our young people, we are here for you. We want you all to be encouraged. Hold your head up and aim high, okay? Um, if y'all would be so kind... As again, if you if you you know check on their seniors, all right. Kool Aid make friends, and it's just nice to be nice. Uh, you know, I mean, we all know someone that's up up there, and you know, it's just it's the right thing to do. So yeah, to our our uh, to our senior citizens and our young people, let's make it. Let's get involved. And make it happen. Oh, we also like to give a special shout out to uh, the Honorable Mayor, our new mayor of, of Michigan City, Indiana, uh, the Honorable Angie Nelson Deitch, and to her new administration going forward, and the new chief, uh, our new our new chief of police, Marty Corley. May he be may he be a blessing and continue to be a blessing to our community. And we want to thank him, thank them for their service. And we wish them the best going forward. Uh, to our the Honorable Mayor, Angie Nelson Deitch, our Chief, uh, our distinguished uh, uh, Michigan City's finest, Chief Marty Corley. Uh, we'd like to give a shout out to the, uh, to the, to the staff over at I, ICIT, to our distinguished President, Mr. Ronald Ivey, Mrs. Carolyn M. Uh, uh, Mrs. Carolyn M. Smith, uh, Mr. Sean, Sean, which is Mr. Sean Davis, and again, uh, I am, it, you know, I'm a, I'm a representative of I see it, and it is an honor to be of service. Uh, I, at this moment, would you all please join us in a brief invocation before we leave you with the uh, I have a I have a dream. I'm, no, I've, I've been to the mountaintop from Dr. Martin Luther King. Medal of Watch, between me and thee, why we are absent, one from another, amen. Y'all don't let this snow deter you. Get out there and, and be a blessing to, to somebody, okay? If there's a senior citizen, check on them. All right, or if you can, you can clear out their pathway. Uh, you know, you'll be glad you did. Again, we want to thank you all for tuning in to Up Right Now TV Report County. We want to thank the staff over at Elko Television Studios. And again, it's just, I want you to know we're here to be a service to you. A closed mouth can't get fed. And you have not because we ask not. Support, volunteer, donate, sponsor, underwrite. And I see it. Uh, and right now, TV, fun and community is a huge ingredient to our recipe of success. All we say to America is be true to what you said on paper. <laughs> if I lived in China or even Russia or any totalitarian country, maybe I could understand some of these illegal injunctions. Maybe I could understand the denial of certain basic First Amendment privileges because they haven't committed themselves to that over there. But somewhere I read of the freedom of assembly. Somewhere I read of the freedom of speech. Somewhere I read of the freedom of press. Somewhere I read that the greatness of America is the right to protest far right. And so just as I say we aren't going to let any dogs or water hoses turn us around, we aren't going to let any injunction turn us around. Go 
well, I don't know what will happen now. We've got some difficult days ahead. But it really doesn't matter with me now. Because I've been to the mountaintop. I don't mind. Like anybody, I would like to live a long life. Longevity has its place. But I'm not concerned about that now. I just want to do God's will. And he's allowed me to go up to the mountain. And I've looked over. And I've seen the promised land. I may not get there with you. But I want you to know the night that we as a people will get to the promised land. So I'm happy tonight. I'm not worried about anything. I'm not fearing any man. Mine eyes have seen the glory of the coming of the Lord. The 